What is going on, everyone? The NFL Draft is next week, and I thought we should take a look at who the Houston Texans have met with. Remember, they only get 30 of these visits, and I think this list will give us a good indication on who and what position they are looking at. Now, we no longer have a first-round pick, but we do have two selections in the second round, and there will be a lot of talent on the board. Let me know in the comments down below your biggest draft needs for this Houston Texans team. I'm going to go ahead and give you mine. It is secondary help, cornerback, safety, defensive line on the offensive side, a backup running back, a wide receiver four, maybe a backup tight end in the later rounds. If you are not in my Houston Texans Discord, what are you doing? Let me know if you want to be added in the comments down below, and I will personally send you the invite. And this episode was brought to you by my friends at Underdog Fantasy. Download the app, use my promo code 713HOU for a first-time welcome bonus on your first deposit up to $100. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching today's episode. Now, one name on the list that caught my attention, Ennis Rakestraw Jr., cornerback from Missouri. He stands at six foot, 188 pounds. He is 21 years old, about to be 22. His first look on PFF. Rake Straw is an incredible, smart, and savvy off coverage cornerback who plays in a way that makes watching his film a joy. Before the ball is even snapped, you can see evidence of his football IQ and his pre snap communication and adjustments to motion. He does most of his work in off coverage cover three quarters and underneath zones, but does so beautifully showing excellent spacing and an ability to pass off routes with ease. He is not asked to play press or single coverage often, which makes his true mirror recovery speed a question, but his fluid hips, quick feet, good burst, and excellent instincts are starting caliber traits. When you look at his pros and cons, his pros, Excellent eyes and instincts in zone coverage. Consistent pre-snap communicator. Patient player who was in control at all times. No panic in him. Quick feet for change of direction. Smooth hips when changing direction. Not a strong run defender, but still likes to be physical. Reliable when funneling ball carriers to sideline and back inside. Experienced and comfortable in the slot. Those are all his pros, a long list. Now let's go ahead and look at his cons. True recovery speed, straight line speed, or worries might be why he's primarily a zone cornerback but seems adequate enough and lack of ball production in his final year. I think he only had one interception in his entire career at Missouri. Well, that being said, I think the Houston Texans understand the need that they have at cornerback. And when you look at the cornerback room, it's Derek Stingley, your number one. And look, he is as elite as they come. However, there is some concern. He has yet to play the full season. Cornerback number two, you have the battle of two bust, CJ Henderson, Jeff Okuda, both of these guys on their third team, both of these guys bust, both of these guys have yet to play a full season. And there is some competition at the cornerback two spot. Throwing in Ennis Rakestraw Jr., I think the rookie could win that matchup. And, hey, whoever wins between C.J. Henderson and Okuda could be the cornerback number three. However, I do like this potential move for the Houston Texans. And you kind of also invest into the future because there is no youth at the cornerback spot right now. And I like that Ennis Rakestraw Jr. has some experience in the slot because right now our starting slot cornerback is Desmond King. And if you remember last year, Desmond King did not make the 53-man roster. So I could still see a Ennis Rakestraw starting at the slot cornerback position and Jeff Okuda and C.J. Henderson, whoever wins that battle, is your starting number two. I like the size. I like the IQ. I like that he's very physical. There was a play in Tennessee where he just absolutely blows up the wide receiver, then comes back and gives him an extra shove on the ground just to let him know 
that I am here. He has a swagger to his physicality, man. And, you know, you kind of want that in your secondary. With that being said, I do like Ennis Rakestraw Jr. And if the Houston Texans use one of their second round picks on him, would not mind that at all. Let me know what you guys think about the Houston Texans having a top 30 visit with cornerback Ennis Rakestraw Jr. from Missouri. And for more Houston Texans content, you guys know what to do. Feel free to follow me for more. Go H-Town. Have a very blessed day.